Greetings from Umay Clinic. Today we'll again go through a detailed analysis of what is cataract and what are the treatment modalities that's available. A common uh, misconception is that a cataract can only occur at a very advanced stage. Yes, commonly cataract occurs at an age that is after 65 or 75, but it can occur at an earlier age also. One can have cataract by birth, which is pretty rare, or cataract can occur at a younger age, like 40s and 50s, for no reason at all, or due to some reasons like uncontrolled diabetes or any injury to the eye. Basically, cataract is not a disease, but it is an age-related change that tends to occur for everybody. Disease cataract is different, that is known as a complicated cataract, which can be a complication due to injury or to other diseases in the eye, like inflammation is called iridocyclitis. So the normal cataract would be called age-related cataract or a senile cataract. The common misconception again is one has to wait till the cataract is very advanced before it can be treated. That is not the truth. The timing of treatment for cataract is dependent upon the difficulty the patient has for the day-to-day -day activities. If cataract were to occur in a person who is in his 50s, even in the early stage of cataract, the vision may be affected to a point where day-to-day -day activities such as driving, reading, working on computer could get affected. At the same time, this same amount of cataract may not be bothersome for a 70-year-old who is mostly at home. On the other hand, plenty of 70-year-olds are active, they drive, they work on the computer, are very, very active, have an active lifestyle. It all depends upon the lifestyle of the patient, the difficulty the patient has for the activity that they do on a daily basis. Commonly, the first complaint the one person would notice in early cataract would be glare. Very bright lights, particularly driving in the evenings, the car headlights that come on can be glaring and driving can become difficult. Working on computers can get difficult, it can be blurry. One can wait until difficulties are noticeable. The moment it is noticeable, go to the doctor, have it tested and make sure it is cataract. Because there are so many other diseases that can act, actually affect your vision. Glaucoma could affect your vision. There could be other retinopathies like diabetic or other age-related retinal issues. So, if there is a visual problem, please get it tested first. If it is early cataract and if it is correctable by glasses and the quality of vision with the new glass is satisfactory to the patient, surgery can be postponed until the vision becomes unsatisfactory. Once vision is unsatisfactory and surgery is contemplated, there are several surgical alternatives that are available to the patient. The one that is the most popular is phaco A lot of persons call this as small incision cataract surgery or micro incision cataract surgery, where the incision made in the eye is only about 2 to 2.5 millimeters and the lens is broken up using ultrasound. That's why the term phaco And a foldable lens is placed inside the eye and the patient gets back very clear vision almost within 24 hours after surgery. So there are options in the type of surgery and the type of the lens that the person can have implanted inside the eye. First, we will talk about the type of lenses. If they go in for a standard monofocal lens, the patient will be able to see clearly for distance without glasses after surgery, but would need to wear glasses for reading. If the patient opts to have a multifocal lens implanted in the eye, then he or she becomes totally independent of glass, both for distance as well as for near. So, multifocal lens would be an option for a person who does not want to wear glasses even for reading. Certain uh, patients have got astigmatism or an altered curvature of the cornea. These people would need a toric lens which would get rid of the astigmatism also. The type of surgery also varies. One can have a surgery done after having an injection in the eye or just below the eye to completely anesthetize the area of the eye, the orbit, and then proceed with the surgery. Or one can opt to have just eye drops, known as topical anesthesia, just eye drop support, and the surgery is done without any injection. This is very convenient and comfortable to the patient and does not need a post-operative patch that closes the eye. So the patient has the surgery, the surgery takes about 10 to 15 minutes, it's only drops, they come out of the operation theatre with the eye open and there's no bandage, and visual recovery is there in a few hours, at the most in a day or two. They can resume their normal activities in 24 to 48 hours. When the cataract is allowed to become very advanced and mature, the surgery can take longer and recovery also can take longer. So it is ideal 
to get the surgery done at a point where the difficulty for surgery for vision is already present and not wait for very advanced loss of vision before a person chooses to get surgery done. Earlier done, the results are faster, recovery is faster and the surgery is also easy, easy both on the patient and the surgeon. And types of surgery for cataract can also vary. Just like the type of lenses, as I told you, monofocal lens, a multifocal lens, a toric lens. There are some very advanced lenses known as aspheric lenses. All of these give better quality of vision. Same applies to technique of surgery. As I said, one can have it with an injection or without an injection with a small incision. Or one can go for a micro incision cataract surgery where the incision is only 2 millimeters. Special instruments are necessary for this kind of surgery. The most advanced surgery for cataract would be one using laser. This is known as laser cataract surgery or FLAX, femtosecond laser assisted cataract surgery and also as known as the robotic surgery where the surgery is done using laser which makes the openings on the eye as well as softens the cataract, breaks it up into small bits which allows the cataract surgery to be done in a more efficient and a more gentle way on the eye making recovery very very fast plus giving the maximum comfort, safety and accuracy to the patient. So today's state of art surgery would be the laser cataract surgery or the robotic laser cataract surgery on flax, which is available in a very few centers. Umayi Clinic is proud to say we are one of the first centers in Chennai to offer this robotic laser cataract surgery. We've been having it for close to three years now. In robotic laser cataract surgery, a patient can expect no injection at all, just drop foot in the eye and a gentle suction cup is placed on the eye and the laser, is, laser lens is docked on and it takes about one minute to one and a half minutes to do the complete procedure of the laser after which the surgeon goes in, aspirates out the soft lens that is the cataract that has been softened by the laser and then implants the artificial lens or the eye over into the eye. So this whole process, the robotic laser cataract surgery is very, very gentle on the patient's eye, very comfortable with the patient and visual recovery is very fast and very very accurate and predictable thank you for watching our video if you have any doubt you can always leave a message on the youtube channel do subscribe to our youtube channel and wait and see more videos that we're going to put up